Hey, what is up all you cube dudes out there? I'm Lapidus Cubed here. And uh, we're not gonna be doing a Let's Play video today or game development program, program, game development uh, update today. I'm actually gonna be showing you in Sony Vegas how to like get the most out of it. Cause I've been seeing, especially with a lot of other YouTubers that are kind of just starting out and who use Sony Vegas. Cause Sony Vegas is um, extremely popular among, you know, YouTubers to edit their videos and whatnot. Uh, they're not really using it to the best, to the best of their ability to get like that full HD quality with the with the sound and also with the video and whatnot. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys kind of the best way to, uh, I guess, use it. So as you can see here, I'm editing uh, an Overwatch video. Actually, I just I already put the intro in. I put the little cutscene in the beginning and whatnot, and I have the outro. And uh, I just want to show you kind of what I do to ensure that there to show you how, how my videos are the quality that they are and hopefully you guys can improve your quality um, in the same way. So what I do first is when I import the, the video clip and I, I already did this because I wasn't thinking about making this video until just a couple seconds ago. But uh, basically what I do is I import, I import the entire video clip that I want, right? So I just have the main like streaming uh, or this main like video clip of my Overwatch gameplay. And then what I do before I start breaking it apart and like editing it and whatnot is I right click on it on the video part. I go to properties and then I disable resample. You want to do this with any FPS and even recommend it with any like, like a, if you're playing Civilization or like a strategy game where it's not an FPS or even 2D games, I recommend it pretty much for anything, especially FPS. This gets rid of ghosting and what ghosting is, it's pretty much a blur. Um, so like when your character is moving, so like if my May character right here, if I did, if I dis, if I had uh, resample not disabled, then when she would move, it would kind of blur the gun and whatnot, and it wouldn't look nice. So what I'm going to show you now is also how to get rid of ambient noise in the background. Now, as you could probably hear right now, you could probably hear like my, I have a tiny fan on my desk that runs to kind of keep me cool because it's hot as fuck up here. And also my computer that's running, right? I got like five fans on it and it's kind of impossible to keep it quiet. It's right next to my whole like battle station setup over here. So you can't really get rid of, at least in my experience, I found that you can't really get rid of computer fan noise. But what a lot of people tend to have when they don't have like a more professional high quality mic like I do, if you're just using like a headset mic, it's like a static. If you hear kind of like a vague static in the background. So how you get rid of that is basically you wanna, you're going to want to go to the audio area. You're going to want to click this little thing right here or you could right click and you could go to uh, audio event FX, right? Yeah, you do either of those. And then what you're going to want to do is you click audio restoration, right? Express FX audio restoration. So you click on that then you click OK. And then, whoops, I'm going to drag this on here. So then basically, I already have a preset, so I just set it to uh, this and I just saved it. So basically what you're going to want to do is you move this to 25 decibels, uh, 100, 7, 7, and negative 70. I have found personally that is the best way to get rid of almost all static unless you're listening to the um, recording on high volume. Usually if you mix some music into it, you should be okay and they won't really be able to hear any of the static. So after you put that all on there, I'd recommend saving it so then you don't have to do that every single time. That took me like 50 videos to figure out how to do that when I used to record with my uh, headset and whatnot. So yeah, you do that. And then I'm gonna show you now how to kind of like the render settings to render it the best quality. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to go to project video properties up here. So just click on that. And then I have mine saved as a custom right now, but basically you're gonna wanna just kinda copy everything that I have right here. So um, you're gonna also wanna check start all new projects with these settings. So then every single, you don't have to do this every single time. You just have to do it once right now. So make sure you have 32 bit uh, for the pixel format you have the best rendering quality, you have all this other stuff kind of just that I got right here, export it to whatever file that you want. And then for audio, you're gonna wanna put the sample rate up. Do I have mine at the right one? Yeah. You're gonna wanna put it up to that and just kind of, yeah, basically copy what I got here, so. Um, and then also what you're gonna wanna do then is that when you go to render as, right? I already have it saved, let me drag it on here. I already have a preset saved. So some people, they use the, uh, what is it? Some people use the internet or the main concept, right? Some people, do I use main concept? I don't. Okay, yeah, some people use main concept, uh, AVC. I have found that that doesn't work the best for some reason for the quality. Uh, I mean, it, you could do that if you want to. It's practically the same thing I found for other people. But for me personally, I use the Sony AVC internet 1080p 
um, 60 FPS, wherever that is. But uh, yeah, so basically you just find that one. It's usually at the bottom, or maybe not. Oh no, actually, so you would just go on the 30 FPS one. So you just would click on that, and then you would customize the template, right? And then let me just go over to my custom one just so you guys can see what I have. So I have it where it's set at 60 FPS right here. And if you're doing an FPS, you're going to want to render it at that. 30 FPS, just it, it won't cut it. it. It will not do it. You're going to have to set it to that. Uh, make sure you kind of just have everything else right here, how you got, uh, how I have it set up. And of course, name it and save it so you don't have to do this every single time. You could just click on it and you'll be done. Your bitrate. This is extremely important. Your bitrate basically tells the computer and the rendering software how like pixelated it is. Now this all depends on OBS actually. So I'm going to actually drag OPS onto this screen right here. Oh man, look at that. So I'm going to go over to the settings real quick. I'm going to show you guys my, enco my encoding settings. So what I have for my encoding settings is basically I set it to this where it's uh, I do the uh, times 264 encoder and you guys could just basically copy this. This setup that I have right here, at least for the video, basically tells the computer that it will, the max bitrate you see right here is a thousand, but because of everything else that I have set here, it'll actually go up to the like highest bitrate that it could process, kind of, and it'll give you the best quality. So that's what I do. I make sure the bitrate is uh, 320 for the audio and whatnot, just so you have the highest audio quality. And let's check advanced real quick. You're gonna also wanna kinda copy everything that I have down here. Um, for the best quality, at least with OBS. Uh, so let me drag that away. So basically, I guess it depends, like I said, on OBS. If you are recording with OBS and you're not doing like a capture card, I'm not entirely sure how those work because I do not record console games, obviously. Um, but yeah, so your bitrate, you're going to want to set it to basically whatever you're recording in. So I record as high as I could go. My bitrate just kind of goes as high as it could go. It adjusts based on what I'm doing and it gets the best quality. So I set mine to the max that uh, Sony Vegas will let me, which is about 26 million. And then for audio also, if your audio bitrate is uh, 320, which you saw mine was, you're gonna wanna set that to that. There's no point in setting it to 320 though, if you are not recording in 320, that, so like rendering it, there's no point in rendering it in 320 if you're recording say in like 128 or something. So if you're, or yeah, if you're, if you're like recording in 128, you're gonna wanna set it to 128, but I record in 320. And uh, vice versa also, if because OBS, I think the highest you could record is 320, there's no point in putting it any higher because the recording isn't that good. It's not like rendering it is really going to make it better. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you do. You also want to go to project and put the um, rendering quality the best, use project settings, all that, and then save it and whatnot, and then you should be okay to render it. and. Yeah, it, it might take a little bit of, of a time because you're doing it in 60 FPS and 1080p and whatnot. Usually for me, I have a i5 processor just so you guys could kind of gauge where you are. Um, usually for me, it takes about an hour and a half for like a 20 minute, 30 minute, 25 to 30 minute video. So yeah, kind of use that to gauge about how long it'll take. I mean, this video right now that I'm about to kind of render and get set up once I'm done editing it is about... Yeah, it's just, it's about like 18 and a half minutes. So that should take me uh, probably like just under an hour, I'd say, or about an hour to fully render it. So the shorter the video, of course, the quicker it renders. Uh, it's going to really take a lot of toll on your computer. And the slower your computer is, the slower it's going to render, obviously. So hopefully this helped you guys. I would love to see some of you guys show me some of your higher quality videos because I have seen some out there that are a little uh, not doing that well. But if you do have Sony Vegas, this is pretty much the best way to get the most out of it. This is what I use and I think my videos are pretty decent quality and I'm pretty happy with it. So that's how you get rid of ambient noise in there. That's how you get rid of the ghosting and the blur and whatnot. And this is how you get it in your highest resolution possible at 60 fps i hope you guys enjoyed if you liked the video drop a like it is highly appreciated subscribe for more if you want more like little tutorials like this um whether it be with i guess some coding even or uh, youtube in general just let me know i'd love to make them and uh yeah hope you guys are having a great night i will check you all later my cube dudes